In this video we're going to be working on dilations and scale factor so a little bit of a review as we lead over into the concept of similar figures. So of course the first thing that we have to do is sort of list off the vertices of the original shape. All right, so we know that point D um, is negative 3, negative 3. All right, point E is negative 3, positive 3. Point F is 2, comma 3. <coughs> And point G is 2, comma, 0. OK, we're told that the scale factor is 3. Now, when we uh, have a scale factor, if the original point is x, comma, y, all right, if the scale factor is 3, then the image is going to be 3x and 3y. So in other words, we're just going to multiply everything by 3. So that means that point D prime is going to be negative 9, comma, negative 9. And E prime is going to be negative 9, comma, positive 9. I'm just multiplying everything by 3. And F prime is going to be 6, comma, 9. And G prime is going to be 6, comma, 0. OK, so negative 9, comma, negative 9 is going to be right there. All right, so that'll be D prime. Negative 9, positive 9. So that'll be E. And then we have uh, 6, comma, 9 is going to be right there. And that'll be point F. And then 6, comma, 0 is going to be right here. And that'll be point G. Actually, I forgot the primes on some of these. So E prime, F prime, G prime. And then, of course, I'll just connect the dots. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. So we're going to do the same thing again. So let's start by listing off the original points. Um, so we have point L is the point 4, comma, 8. And point M is 4, comma, negative 4. And point N, which is negative 4, comma, 0. OK, now the scale factor is 5 over 4. So what we need to do is multiply everything by 5 over 4. OK, so if I want to do uh, L prime, that's going to be 5 over 4 times 4 and 5 over 4 times 8. Okay, now I see that um, these 4s will cancel each other out, so that's just going to be 5. And I see that 4 goes into 8 twice, and 5 times 2 is 10. All right, or you might have thought of this one as 5 times 8 is 40, divided by 4 is 10, however you want to think about it. Or you could use a calculator if you have to. All right, so same thing for m prime. I'm doing 5 over 4 times 4, and 5 over 4 times negative 4. OK, so that's just going to be 5, comma, negative 5. 
And then for n prime, I'm doing 5 over 4 times negative 4 and 5 over 4 times 0. So we already did 5 over 4 times negative 4. So that's going to be negative 5 and then 0. Okay, so 5 comma 10 is going to be right here. So that's going to be L prime. 5 comma negative 5 is going to be right here. So that's going to be M prime. And negative 5 comma 0 is right here. So that'll be N prime. And then I'll just connect all the dots. All right, and there you go. All right, so on this problem, we're supposed to find the scale factor. Now, they should be saying find the scale factor if any. So it's possible that these shapes are not similar at all. Now, before now, I was nice enough to give you images that were clearly, we were, uh, we were dilating from the origin. So that was fine. We could just use the, uh, we could use this rule, like 3x, 3y. But when they give you two images, we have no guarantee that they're dilating from the origin. So we can't just pick uh, two points and check them. All right? Instead, we better use the side lengths. All right? So for example, let's pick a pair of sides. So obviously, this side right here is length of 2. And then this side right here is length of 4. All right, so based on those, and remember, the scale factor is always new over old. So based on those, the scale factor would be 4 over 2, which would be 2. Now, it's not a scale factor unless it works for all of the sides. So it works for the height. What about the length? OK, so the length, um, the smaller length here is 3. And then the length of the larger side right here is, let's see, 3, 6, 7. Hmm. Based on that, the scale factor would be new over old, 7 over 3. 7 over 3 does not reduce down to 2. So that tells me that these shapes are not similar. OK, now compare that to problem number 4. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, mess with the the hypotenuse there. I'll just stick with the horizontal piece and the vertical piece. So this horizontal piece right here is 3 and this horizontal piece right here is 2. So based on that the scale factor new over old would be 2 over 3. But we need to check the vertical dimension. Um, so vertically, this larger number is, let's see, 2, 4, 6. And vertically, the smaller number is 4. So based on that, new over old, the scale factor would be 4 over 6, which reduces down to 2 over 3. All right, because we're getting the same scale factor in both dimensions, that means um, this truly is the scale factor, and these are similar. So the scale factor is 2 over 3. All right, so for number 5, we're supposed to find the scale factor of each dilation. Give your answers as reduced fractions. OK, so. Um, I think we're supposed to assume that these are dilations from the origin. So scale factor, new over old, 
So if I pick the x values, I'd be doing 10 over 6, which reduces down to 5 over 3. Okay, let's just check if we'd get the same thing if we did the y values. Okay, using the y values, it would be 25 over 15. All right, so that is also 5 over 3. So that's the scale factor. Okay. So same thing again. 20 over 16. 4 goes into both of these, so that would be 5 over 4. All right, so there's your scale factor. All right, and then for part C. All right, let's be careful. So AB corresponds to DE, right, by the order of the letters. AB corresponds to DE. So here's AB, which I'll put in a box, and that corresponds to DE, which I'll also put in a box. All right, so those could be my corresponding sides that I'm going to use. Okay, um, ABC is the old, right, because that's the one that was mentioned first, and it's turned into DEF, so this is the new. So if I wanted to find that scale factor, I'd have to do new over old, 8 over 6. All right, but that is going to be 4 over 3. All right, similarly, uh, we have DE is corresponding to AB. So let's see, DE and AB. Okay, um, but DEF is the old and ABC is the new. So I will have to do 6 over 8 and that's going to be 3 over 4. In this last problem, we first must find the scale factor that turns uh, quadrilateral ABCD into EFGH. So notice that, for example, side AD is corresponding to EH. So here's side AD and here's side EH. Those are corresponding sides. Um, the, uh, we're turning into EFGH. So that means that this is the new shape and this is the old shape. That's important because the scale factor is always going to be the new divided by the old. So for this problem, the scale factor, we can use these corresponding sides and do 75 divided by 30. Okay, let's use our calculator to help us out a little bit. Okay, let's go into fraction mode. So 75 over 30. Okay, that's 5 halves. So the scale factor is 5 over 2. Now apply this scale factor to find the length of HG. Well, let's see. Let's just double check. I mean, it seems obvious that these are corresponding sides but let's just double check. So HG, see how that's the last two letters? So that should correspond to CD. All right, so this should correspond with this. Okay, so fine. If I want to go from the 80 to uh, HG, I just need to multiply by the scale factor. I need to multiply by 5 over 2. So that's all there is to it. I'm just going to take 80 and I'm going to multiply by 5 over 2 and then that should give me the length of HG. Okay, so let's see. 
So 5 over 2 times 80. That is 200. So HG must be 200. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.